you have actual scientists who are trying to get in and psychologically help these players be able to compete at a higher level because some of them may have anxiety issues, they may have emotional issues, they may have mental health issues, and this helps with that. So anything to help those players along those lines is helpful. Oh, hey! How's it going? <laughs> that sounded so scripted! <laughs> also sounded psychotic. That sounded so scripted and fake. If you hear a woman laughing outside, it's just our local witch, I guess. I guess, that's what she sounds like. But, uh, yeah, just ignore her. Wow. There's, some, there's somebody outside that's just standing in the middle of the street and laughing. <laughs> Not joking. Probably gonna have a spell put on us. Yeah, I opened the curtain earlier and I looked outside and there's somebody out there just, like, laughing in the middle. Of... I'm letting her shoot again. <laughs> if you watched our if first video, 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 I absolutely <laughs> mutilated Barry. So, uh... We probably look drunk on these videos today. Don't say that, man. We don't, we don't, I don't even drink. Don't but, drink, uh, don't. again, we have our sign up. Yep. Common Sense Sports. God, that was loud. Is that the name of our channel? <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got our logo up. We're really excited about that. Um, so that's one announcement. Our next announcement is, uh, it almost sounds like I'm disinterested, but we've announced it so many times. <laughs> on our next announcement is that we get the March Madness bracket thing. If you know nothing about basketball, I feel like I'm on a record right here. You've been saying that everything. If you know nothing about basketball, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can win a free $25 gift card. Um, go head over to our March Madness bracket video. Yeah, comment on it. Tell us you went in, and the, then uh, the first 50 people. The first will get 50 in. people. So and like it, like we've been saying in our other videos, we can't win. We're gonna put a bracket in, but we can't win. So I guess it technically it would be 51 people because we would have. Yeah, but that way you can compete people. with us. Yeah, compete with us and see how you uh, how you compare to us, and then uh, you can win you a twenty five dollar Amazon gift card. And if you're the only one that comments, yeah, if you're then the you'll only win. person that enters, you're gonna automatically win, and you'll just compete with us, I guess. But uh, so uh, go ahead and head over to that March Madness bracket video. Leave comments so you want to enter. We'll put you on ESPN, give you the group code and stuff like that. Let's do it. And uh, we'll compete with you. you. Might as well get ready to finish second because I'm the greatest uh, March Madness bracket picker of all time. We're picking all as one. We have our own that's free that we're doing competitively, but yeah, you're going to... Okay. Just something. Anyway, we're going to get into... Don't worry. Okay. We got he, a, he's going to be... He's going. I'm, I'm hiding him from you. We got our second... Could you imagine like 25 years later we have like a marshmallow just hiding somewhere? Just, <laughs> Dang, you remember him? Imagine what it would look like. A, uh, it's Phil, man. Anyway, it, he would like melt in a summer. We all like crushed it up and... <laughs> Anyway, we got some hockey news to deal yeah, with. We, we got a, a cool little. Uh, I guess I guess it's almost just one story, really. We always do fun facts, kind of like in our second videos. Yeah. Um. This is our second. Well, depending on which one you watch. Uh, you want to get into it? Yeah, Frederick Anderson, right? Is that yes. From the Maple Leafs. From the Maple Leafs. Is it, <laughs> actually the way you read it to me? It was so confusing. I think it's Frederick, but it doesn't. It Frederick. doesn't matter. I, I don't know. He's just, on a quest to become more comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And if you just read it like that, it sounds crazy. It sounds so ridiculous. It sounds like more crazy than what we just talked but, uh, about. He but went into uh, some Navy SEAL training. Right? It was like Hell Week. It's, I think that's what he called it. Um, he went into some Navy SEAL training to it, for breathing exercises because he is a keeper. Yeah. And he wanted to be able to calm himself. Yeah. And to, to go a little bit more into that, sports psychology is like an, a growing field right now. It is. And people used to make fun of it. And, and this is going to sound silly, but some FIFA YouTubers, we talk about soccer sometimes, but uh, so, e even just some, this is going to sound weird, gamers. Yeah. Excuse me. Even like people that, are, that consider themselves gamers who play video games competitively yeah. will go see sports psychologists control their breathing and be able to relax in ner nerve-wracking situations. What that gets into, to get a little bit more serious about things like, uh, I don't want to put these people down, but real sports. It's, it sounds like it's a put down, but it's athletic not. sports. Actually, phys physically competing. Physical sports, yeah. Um, it involves teaching, coaching, counseling, conducting research. So this is research based. Yeah. You have actual scientists who are trying to get in and psychologically help these players be able to compete at a higher level because some of them may have anxiety issues, they may have emotional issues, they may have mental health issues, and this helps with that. So anything to help those players along those lines is helpful. You know. I know it's slightly off topic, but it's still in a general area of it. Something I've never understood about some of these professional athletes. Okay, like for the NFL, I'm going to use the NFL because I know the most about it. Okay, say they go out to like a club or something. The NFL has their own 
pickup service for these guys. It's not even regular taxis. It's the NFL service where they can come pick them up. And it makes no sense to me why they don't call these people when they drive drunk and they get in trouble. It makes no, I, I can't comprehend it. You have all these things you can use at your disposal, disposal and you won't use them. I don't know. I, I really don't have an answer I mean, to that. I know they have like the, you know, the therapists and stuff that they can go yes. use, sponsored you know, by the NFL. Use it if you have that option. But yeah, this is, I mean, I know I got a little, but it's just something that's always bothered me. Stuff like that. Now, apparently racing sports are part of our, uh, <laughs> but uh, now, I was going to go a little bit more into that, but I, I'm not really going to. I feel... It is still re being, you know, it's still research-based type stuff, so... You know, uh, and you hear a lot of announcers talk about he has ice in his veins. Yeah. Well, the reason why a lot of players are clutch is because they're able to concentrate. In, and if you've ever played sports, you get in, like, this weird mode where you just get in focused yeah. mode. And, and if you've ever been the best at what you're doing... You notice you t everything's tuned out. You do. I was just getting ready to say you learn to tune everything else out. Yeah. And, and what's weird is you remember hearing noises. Yeah, I'm just going to sound like I'm crazy, but it's it really, if you ever play sports, you know what I'm talking about. You always remember hearing, like, background noise. For, it, go ahead. It, it's like your senses, it, you, it, it's like your brain makes you focus completely yeah. on certain aspects. I was going to say, for example, when I wrestled, you have 20 mats going at once, so you have 20... 40 coaches yelling at one time you your brain it does it learns how to hear only your coach you don't hear anything else that's all you learn to just listen to him and hear him you now, don't hear anything else this isn't research based people have research this stuff but i'm going to say just this is purely my opinion yeah people say that your enhance your senses don't get enhanced uh when one of them goes away um i agree with that however i also disagree in it in like a different here's what i want to say about it your senses don't get enhanced. I think your brain focuses more it's on a certain sense because it's almost saying. like. Why did the word go out of my head? Um, it's almost like multitasking. Okay. Yeah. When you have so many things going on at once, your brain enters what's called automaticity. Yeah. Um, and it tunes certain things out, and you built you react based on instinct and built schemas. In your head, I know I'm getting a bit a large word. Apparently, we got different. Einstein on our channel. Well, I did study no, this stuff. I know, I'm just messing around. And uh, it, your brain helps you focus on certain things, and I think yeah. that's why when you're playing sports and you don't hear those noises, I think your brain is forcing you to focus on what matters more to you in that uh, instant. Yeah. Kind of like when your adrenaline kicks in when you're in a dangerous situation. You focus on nothing else other than getting out of there. Yep. You don't Surviving. focus on, man, do I smell bacon? Let's get out of here. Like I, I know I, what you're saying. So I think your brain makes you focus on what's more yeah. important in that situation. Yeah. Now to get into something even more interesting than that, I think we're going to pick our starting six men on the yeah. ice. Yeah, I know. Maybe. I know with soccer we did our you know the bench and everything, but we figured especially to keep it a little bit shorter, just going to do six. Mine will definitely be as somebody who hasn't watched hockey as much. It will be super popular players. Well, go ahead and go first. But I mean, you know. Okay, so what do you what 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 position are you gonna pick first? What, what I'll be goalkeeper. Okay. Okay, Patrick. Uh, is it's not Roy, does, is it pronounced Roy or does he pronounce it a different way? Well, I have no idea. I can't remember how it's pronounced, but people will know who I'm talking. Can't about. believe I have no idea. What... He's voted as like the best NHL keeper of all time. Well, the one I found. Well, we just have different ones. Okay. Is what it was. Now I cannot believe I don't. Know I don't have statistics for all these guys. You know what team but, play for? I'm sorry, I don't need to cut you off. I'm uh, sorry. No, it makes it's, me It's my fault. Because right? I read it, and now it like... Yeah, but that's not, that's not... I, I shouldn't have asked you that. That's not... Or, I, I screwed you up. my defenders, through. Bobby Orr. Okay. He's super popular. Nick Lidstrom. He's okay. a, he was another guy. Mm -hmm. they, they were both super was that, was good that, attacking yes. defenders. I was, th I was thinking about writing him down. Which is kind of where I went with that. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted both of my defenders to be able to attack at any given time, but they still have to be able to, 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 be able to defend yes. and stay back if they need to. Now, my center, probably predictable, Gretzky. Okay. Obviously. I mean, it's hard not to put Wayne Gretzky. Okay, if you look at all the major sports, I feel like he's the easiest one to add to the top list of players in his sport, of any sport. I mean, he's obviously, he's at least in the top three, obviously, for everyone. I don't think anybody would have him under their top three players. Now, my left wing, Bobby Hole. Right wing, Yarmir Yager. I remember watching him a lot. Okay. When I was, was longer. Yes. When I was longer. <laughs> when I was younger, I don't know where that word came from. <laughs> you were always <laughs> 20 feet tall. But yeah, I remember watching him, uh, and it, it was a 
I picked names that, are, uh, that I knew is basically what I did. Names that came to me off the top of my head. Bobby Orr was always one that came to me right away. Gretzky, obviously. And then my manager, Herb Brooks. Okay. You know, he was the famous manager for the uh, you can't go wrong with that Miracle on Ice. What he did with that, that was one of the greatest hockey you feats know, of all time. As a U.S. guy, I have to had to pick a... A lot of the Russian players were considered professional yeah. because they I think they were paid. They were. Mm -hmm. They said they weren't, but... I'm sure they were. Russia's always a little... Especially back then. Russia's always like quibbling a lot when they do oh, yeah. stuff like espionage. It's like everything's an espionage with them. But, I, I but yeah, those were my, my six. But uh, obviously some... Um, Maybe it is Patrick Roy. It's making me mad now that I don't remember how to pronounce. Maybe I'm thinking of like a different player than he pronounces. Well, you could be right. I mean, I, I don't know, and I should. Um, maybe it's just going out of my head. Maybe I just can't think of him. You probably might know who it was if you. But uh, you want me to go through mine? Let's do it. I you start with the goalkeeper first, start right? With the goalkeeper. Uh, my goaltender was uh, Dominic Hasek. Okay. Uh, now I have stats for mine. Uh, James didn't because I, I came up with this team. He, we didn't have enough time for him to look up stats. It would have taken a long time. I, I mean, I did a couple stats for my defenders, but that was about it. You know, I didn't give you enough time to do that. But. Bobby Orr was the only defender with nine hat tricks. I did have that written down. So. Yeah, I don't even have that written <laughs> down. But. Okay, so my goal, goaltender was Dominic Hasek. Um, yeah. He started in the NHL at 27 years old, and this is why I wrote him down. Oh, wow, okay. He was a six-time All-Star. So six years. He was a six-time All-Star. He was a six-time uh, Vezina Trophy that, which I'm is the top goaltender. Top goaltender, yeah. Three-time William Jennings Trophy. This is where you get a minimum of 25 games played, and the fewest goal goals against your he team. He won that three times. Yeah, he won that three times. Okay. And keep in mind, he started at 27 years old. I remember the name, but I don't know. I just don't know a lot about some of these guys. But I do remember that name. I've heard the name before. So Dominic Hasek. Okay. It was mine. Um, okay. Now you went with your defense. Yeah, I did my defense next. Time. I'm gonna go with my right defender, okay. uh, Doug Harvey. Actually, I don't even know if I've heard that name before. Uh, he was a whiz with the puck, all-time player. Okay. Um, really turned the puck over. Yeah. He was an 11-time All-Star. He was a seven-time Norris Trophy winner. So is that best defender? Uh, yes, okay. yes. Um, and he was listed as one of the cleanest hitters ever in the NHL. So okay. I listed him. He could distribute the puck. And, and so I'm he's building more this, of a defensive style. Yeah, and player. I'm building this okay. like I'm building a team. Yeah. Um, so, he was one of the cleanest hitters ever, so he'd be like my bruiser. Yeah. Um, but, here's a stat which is ridiculous. The power play team that he was on, because you always have a team set up for power plays usually, yeah. um, a line, that is. Yeah. Um, he caused a power play rule change. They used to have two a minutes. Whole rule. Yeah. Okay. They used to have two minutes, and it would last the whole two minutes. It wouldn't change when you got scored on. You'd okay, I see what you're saying. They would score three goals at a time when people, when they were on power play. Wow. So okay. they finally decided to put parity into the sport. We have to make this rule change. So he caused a rule change. That, so anybody that does that. Now, my left defender, Bobby Orr. Okay, can't go wrong. You, I said, you can't cannot, go wrong with Bobby Orr. No. You cannot not put, you cannot not. So double negative. So I guess <laughs> you, can, you can leave him off. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Orr is on my list. Yeah. Um, played from, his prime was 68 to 75. Yeah. Um, Older player. He's an older player. Uh, 1975 was his best year. He had 80 games played, and he had 46 goals as a defender. He had 89 assists and 135 points as a defender. And he had multiple 100-point seasons. I think it was the season before that. Yeah. I, I might be wrong about that. But he was an unbelievable defender, arguably the best player of all time. Uh, a lot of people th think it's Wayne Gretzky, but if you look at the players that Gretzky had around him, it kind of benefited him as a center. Yeah. Now, to go off of my center... To go a little bit off of that, um, Wayne Gretzky is not my center. He's not, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, Pixel Mario Lemieux. Okay, the, the, another great player. Um, I know about. Now, Wayne Gretzky probably should be on here. Yeah. But, but I mean, if that's I, you're I, building your team a certain way. Mario Lemieux, here, he's one of my favorite players ever. Yeah. The Penguins are, are a great team. I love the Penguins. Um, and he's my captain, by the way. I don't think I asked you. Who would you, would you put, pick Gretzky? Or Bobby Orr. Bobably Orr, probably. probably so, about, so you have yeah. your. Okay. I always like, you know, in almost in most sports of that, you know, that I watch, I always like my defender, or like a defender as a captain more than anything, because he can see the whole field. And I think ice, anything, whatever you're playing. I think that might be a better option, but I picked Mario Lemieux as my center just yeah. because he would be the, just or captain, mainly because he's he's the center. The position he plays, yeah. Um, he was with the Penguins from 1984 to 2006. Um, I think it was two two thousand six. 
he was the fastest to 100 points ever. Um, Zukarov almost tied it. It was at 62 games, but he did it in his 61st game uh, in the 96-97 season. That's just crazy because that's almost two points a game. That's now I I apologize. Before I said 95, it was the 96-97 season. Okay, I got the stat wrong. So that's when he broke the record. Yeah. Um, my right wing, Gordy Howe. That was my. He was my. It was. It was between him and Yager for me. It was one of those two. And I was looking at Jeremy Yager. Um, now Gordy Howe. <sighs> Talk about Johnny Football. He's named as a uh, Mr. Hockey. Yeah. He's a 21-time All-Star. Uh, four times. So pretty much his whole career. Is I don't know if I don't even know if there's anybody possible. in any sport that's had that many All-Star appearances. He's a four-time Stanley Cup champion. His last time was with the Boston uh, Boston uh, the Red Wings. Detroit. Okay. Yeah. Um, six Hart MVP trophies. So the MVP trophies. Um, 801 goals. 1,049 assists, and 1,850 total points that's, throughout his whole career. That's ridiculous. Almost 2,000. The 21-time All-Star is what's crazy. That, that's a crazy yeah, that's, that's to me. When I saw that, I thought to myself, how am I Off the top of my head, the only thing I can think of that's even close, is I know Kevin Garnett was like a 16-time All-Star or something like that in the NBA. But he's nicknamed Mr. Hockey. Yeah. Uh, I guess for that reason. He could arguably be the best player of all Could time. Be. but. Named as one of the most versatile players yeah. ever. Um, so, Gordy Howe, right wing. Um, left wing, and I'm sorry for pronoun mispronounce this. I've always pronounced it Mahavlik. Frank Mahavlik, um, eight-time All-Star. Uh, six. So, this guy's ridiculous, but he's only an eight-time All-Star. Look at the 21-time All-Star, man. That's, that's, the, that's the craziest statistic I've ever heard. Eight-time All-Star, uh, six-time Stanley Cup champion, so he's on a pretty so good team. Uh, 500... What did I write there? <laughs> 533 uh, goals, 570 assists, and 1,103 points. Um, now he's only one of the he's one of the only players to be selected to an All Star team on three different teams. So okay. he was he was good. So it didn't matter where he went. So when you argue that he was a six time Stanley Cup champion, you may think to yourself, well, yeah, but that may be in the players he was surrounded by. He went to three different teams. Yeah. So and he was an he was an all-star on three different teams, so he was a good. He was an unbelievable player, and the reason why I put him here at left wing is because I'm thinking about building a team. Yeah. Um, he assisted on Gordy Howe's 700th goal, so okay. he's familiar with playing with him. Okay. Um, now my manager, Herb Brooks. Yeah, we both picked the same. Um, a miracle on ice. He knows how to put teams together. He knows how to, you know, the teams you put together are so good. He's probably more of a motivator anyway. So that's the kind of stuff he'll be doing. He won't even have to do a lot of. And if you think Coaching about it, stuff like that. during the Miracle on Ice, he left a lot of players out that were considered some of the yeah. best players. Uh -huh. So he may even pick some. Of the, it's it's how the team fits together it's because how, it's a team sport. And he knows what he needs. Mm -hmm. So, so guys, that's a, a little bit more of an interest talk for our second videos. We try to do that. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, you can pick and choose what you watch depending on what you like to see. But uh, I guess that's it for our second video. Yeah, but we'll definitely be doing this for uh, football and baseball next week because so I love picking teams like that. The baseball one's gonna be really fun. There's so many positions to pick. We we have our uh, we have our rules videos. Yeah. Up. We have our challenge. Well, the we're challenge gonna be video up. Will be going up. A challenge video will be going up. We're gonna go film some challenges now. Um, the forfeit is gonna be up. So I need to get started. Um, but anyway, that's uh that's it with Comset Sports. Cody and James. Logo again. Uh, March Madness bracket. Don't know how, know anything about basketball. Just, so comment. Be, just comment on our March Madness bracket video and say you want to enter, and you'll be entered into a, uh, a twenty-five dollar gift card giveaway yep. from Amazon yep. that we're going to give to you for free. So it doesn't hurt you in any way. Um, so go over there, uh, comment, say you want to join that, um, and you'll it, it's on ESPN. Yeah, it'll be on ESPN. And somebody has to win other than us. Uh, but that's it with Cody and James comes to sports. Make sure to like, subscribe, notification bell, leave us a comment.